Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all about red lipstick. Now, I can't tell you how many people have said to me, oh my gosh, you look good in red lipstick, I could never wear it. Wrong. <laughs> you can totally wear red lipstick and I'm here to help you. So there's a few things that I like to talk about or make you think about when you want to wear red lipstick and you've really never done it before. So the first thing would be, what is your skin undertone? So what do I mean by that? Most of us are either cool toned, warm toned, or there's a few of us who are neutral toned. Now I have actually happen to be neutral toned skin. Um, and we'll get into that in a minute, but you can either be cool toned or warm toned usually. So those who are cool toned tend to look better in cooler toned colors like blues or greens or purples. Um, their veins in their wrists will tend to have more of a blue or a purple tone to them and they might prefer or look better in um, silver or white gold jewelry. So those are kind of some of the characteristics of somebody who might be more cool toned. If you're more warm toned, you look better in reds and pinks and oranges. You have more of like an olive green um, or green color to your um, veins in your wrists and you might prefer to wear yellow gold jewelry or feel that you look best in yellow gold jewelry. Now, my veins are both green and blue. The foundation I wear actually is called Dewy, which happens to be a neutral tone color. And I wear yellow, gold, and white gold jewelry interchangeably. And I really don't have a preference towards whether or not I look good in a certain color. Um, I really have been able to wear anything. So I happen to be neutral toned, which is pretty cool for you guys because I can show you a more wide range of um, colors for makeups and such, not having to worry about me not, you know, clashing with them. So works out in my favor actually, but figure out first whether you're cool toned or you're warm toned because that might influence whether you, not you choose a certain color. So all of the reds that I have here, I just pulled out of my gigantic stash of lipstick and each one of these is either cool toned or warm toned. So you can see this one is a cool toned, this one's warm, this one's warm, this one's cool, I think. This one might be cool. This one might be warm actually, this one's cool. So you can kind of tell whether or not they have more of like the orangey to them or more of like the bluish to them, which will make them either cool or warm toned. Now, another thing you could think about is whether or not you're looking to have your teeth look whiter. So if you wear a cool toned lipstick, it's gonna make your teeth look whiter. If you wear a warm toned lipstick, it may accentuate your teeth if they are yellow. So just a little thing to think about. Um, another thing to think about when wearing red lipstick is that red, red lipstick really steals the show. So you wanna let it steal the show by keeping the rest of your look kind of simple. So today I just put on some uh, foundation, a little bit of black eyeliner, and just like a teeny bit of blush on my cheeks for like a little tiny bit of color, but not like anything crazy that you can tell. And the rest of my face is pretty bare. So I'm gonna put red lipstick on in a minute and I'm really gonna let the red lipstick shine and not kind of overpower it with some crazy eyeshadow or any other, you know, anything else. You know, even the rest of my look is pretty plain today. Um, so those are the two biggest things I think when it comes to wearing red lipstick. One, figuring out whether you want a cool toned or a warm toned lipstick, and then making sure to keep the rest of your look kind of simple so that the red lipstick can stand out. And then the third thing would be to just go for it. I can't tell you how many people I've seen put on red lipstick and they're like, oh my God, no, I look like a clown. I can't do this. And I'm like, you look amazing. The thing about red lipstick, if you've never worn it before, is that you see yourself in it and it's just so striking to you that you immediately just think, oh no. But the thing is, is that it's just, you're not used to seeing yourself like that. A lot of people tell me that I look good in it and then they can't wear it because they're used to seeing me in it. So that's why they think I look good in it. But the truth is, is that you're just not used to seeing yourself wear it. So you automatically think that it's scary and too bright and you look like Bozo. And I am here to guarantee you that's not true. Um, so if you're really nervous about wearing red lipstick, but you want to, because I feel like we all do, what you should do is just put it on in your house. Put on some red lipstick, see yourself every time you pass the mirror, get used to seeing yourself in it. And I guarantee you that after a while, you'll be like, oh, I love this color. I look good in it. And and that's just how it goes. Like I I am like going to say 9 times out of 10 if you put on red lipstick and think you look bad in it, it's probably because you're just not used to seeing yourself in it. Maybe one time out of 10 you're wearing like the totally wrong color for your skin. But I'd say most of you who put on red lipstick, you're going to look fantastic. You're just not used to seeing yourself in it. 
So those are my biggest tips for how to wear red lipstick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put one on for you. This one's called Blue Red. It is a blue based, as you can imagine. Blue based red lipstick. It is matte, so there's no sparkle or shimmer to it. Um, and it's just like a really nice bright red. I go ahead and put this on and I'll be right back. So here is my final look, my blue red lip scents with just some clear glossy gloss on top. Um, I think that anybody can wear red lipstick. I totally think you should just go for it. Don't forget, figure out if you're warm toned or cool toned and try to pick your red lipstick based on that. Um, remember to keep the rest of your look kind of simple to let that red lipstick stand out and shine. And three, just go for it. Just absolutely go for it. Just try it out. Wear it in your house for a few days if you're feeling like you need to get used to the color, but I guarantee you, you're gonna look amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I always wear it when I go um, on site to a program because red is like my power color and it makes me feel confident and important. So I love it and I really hope you guys do too. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you're notified of all my new videos. Thanks for watching.